Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Today I want to say happy birthday to my protege. He's gone, but today is his birthday. Today is Lil Dan's birthday and I got to say happy birthday even though he's no longer with us. You understand, this is my young protege, Little Dan, and today is his birthday. As I say to all of y'all, this was his obituary, some of the pictures in there, and you get a little chance to see a little bit of what his obituary looked like. This was Lil Dan's day. This is Lil Dan's birthday. Today, this is his day. All praises be to Allah that he even gave us to us, that I even got to know him and be in his life from his freshman year in high school to his senior all the way, all four years. This was my boy. I'm going to tell you all about the time. It's ironic. Me, him, and Al. Al is right here. He's no longer with us either. Another brother who's gone too soon, both of them. One from having a stroke and one from getting killed. So that's the game, but let me tell you this story about Lil' Dan coming up. It was about his senior year in high school and uh, me and him and I went to New York to pick up 20 keys and I wanted to show him the two or three car move. You understand? So what I did was, I took the package, I had Al in one car, I had him in the car behind Al, and we all coming in from New York with the 20 keys in front, you understand? So if the police come at me, Al's supposed to go, or any disturbance, if they come at Al, then Jack is supposed to go to create a disturbance, you understand? This is the three car move when you bring in a package in and you put some cover on it. The one car is behind it, the next car is behind that. So can't nothing really get in between the y'all. And sometimes you might put me in the middle, put Jack leading and Al in the back, but I don't like nobody leading. I kind of like to lead and let them two stay back. And if something come at me or pull up on me, you right behind me to see it. So the three car move is what I took him in to New York with me and Al on a move to show him when he got to see him, just to show him how to do things. Didn't put him in no danger because he never had anything on him. But it's just showing you how life goes. You know, it's a wonderful thing. I got to know him, help him through high school in a wonderful way, which actually helped me. I had as much fun with him going through high school as he had. I had as much joy as seeing him walk across that stage as he had walking, you understand? So that's how I felt about it. And I feel about all kids going to high school and getting an education, and whatever you might decide to do after that. But get your education first, because that's most important to be able to count a million dollars. It's sad to make a million dollars and you can't even count it. So they can play the count game on you all day. All they gotta do is count your money and beat you out of it. So you got to know how to count. You got to go to school. You know, that, that's my advice to you because you got to know how to count. It's bad to have money and people just beat you right out of it, pull right up and count you right out of it. That's a sad thing. And I also want to say this on Lil Dan's birthday miss you, bro. I truly do. Hate to see you gone way too soon. Breaks my heart. But life is life. I ain't God and I can't change it. Same thing with Al. I miss him dearly. I hate to see he gone. It breaks my heart. It's just sad to see him so young gone and I got to stay back and tell the stories on what we did and getting out there doing and having fun and living life at its highest. And I'd be happy if a guy like Al and Jack, they both got to see a lot of money and success. I was happy to see them do it 
and hoped they wouldn't lose control or lose themselves because they was making a few dollars. Money shouldn't change you. You should be the same person you was when you get some money as is when you didn't have no money. But money changes a lot of people. Their numbers change. You can't call them no more. You understand when they get some money. And that really shouldn't be that way if a motherfucker love you or care about you. And that's honest. So I'm just sitting back here reflecting on two brothers gone way, way too soon. You understand? One, because he stroked out and I truly feel because he was being indicted by the government. Now he had to see the dark side of the game. He had to go talk to lawyers and give them his money and let them make all the money. Now you ain't making no money. You working for a lawyer. You know, in fed cases, as I say to you, they ain't cheap. They ain't nowhere near cheap. Look to start off with a serious lawyer anywhere from fifty dollars to $100,000. And that's for real. But when you're fighting for your life, if you got it, you pay it. That's why it's important, as I tell you all, put some money up. Stop tossing it all up in the titty bar. It's all right now and then to go out and throw up and toss up, throw away ten or 20000 Don't throw it all away so when you need to get Bill out of jail and you need to call up Mr. Cornelius Pitts or one of them big money lawyers, you have the money and they'll answer your call. It might save you a whole lot of years in penitentiary. So this is Eddie Jackson Jr. Just reflecting on Jack's birthday, how it was, and say I'm missing him dearly. As I say to all of y'all, let's all have a drink today and celebrate the life of little Dan if you know it. Let's all toast it up. Let's all have a drink today and do what he like to do or you like to do. Enjoy this day on Brother Lil Dan because it's his birthday and let's all have a toast on the life he lived and that Allah gave him a life to live and it was wonderful that he was my little cousin. It was the thrill of my life to grow up with him and him to grow up with me. So I want to say to all of y'all, this is real, true street crime. I've been having the problems getting through to my products. If you go to my link and you're having a problem getting through, this coronavirus has got, it's hard to get through to my link. So if you're going through to give me a play, if you luck up, try to. If you can't, I don't know what to tell you because I've been trying to get in touch with them and I haven't been able to. It is a total life change. This is my Alleviate Cream. It is a CBD product. Go to my link and try to get it, but I'm having problems right now. It's a total life change. I guess they're making so many sales, they psyched and broke down. So we'll get it together, and I'm sure they'll get it together because we all like money. And this is real, true street crime, saying this is my Alleviate Cream, a CBD product. Please, you all, please, please, this is serious as a heart attack. Get out and vote. Please vote for Joe Biden. He is definitely the lesser of the two evils that is out there that we can vote for this time. Please. This man, I told y'all, Jim Clyburn, should have made the man promise us what he was going to do then instead of going up there making such a deal like a buck-eyed slave without making him say, hey, minimum wage is going to be $25 if I get elected. Everybody going to have health care if I get elected. This is what Charlemagne was talking about. The only thing Jim Clyburn could have possibly asked for was a mega church for himself. Let's be serious. And that's the problem we have in politics today. We have too many black men going in the wrong direction, hollering Jesus Christ. We don't need Jesus Christ. We all need Allah and God of whatever name you call him. Because I respect all religions, and it's more than just Jesus Christ out there. It's Allah, Hindus. It's all kind of religions. So I respect them all. 
You understand? So all I'm saying to all of you all, please get out and vote. Let's try to support Joe Biden. We know he come from Obama. Let's stop all the foolishness now. We see Donald Trump, Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump ain't got no love for the American people, me, you, or nobody. So come on now, let's let, 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 let's have some sense. Let's go and get Joe Biden in there and try to get rid of this corona now. Then we'll deal with him on any other thing we got to deal with him on. But let's get Trump out the White House. Let's be serious now. Let's not get to making a big whoop to do over that. Please, y'all, let's get out and vote and try to save some lives. Because this man is telling us to shoot bleach, inhale bleach, chemicals. He's telling you to take pills, K-Pak, that life will kill you. He lying to the American public. He taking the pills. He must have corona. But he ain't got enough heart to tell the American public the truth at no time about nothing. So it's apparent if you taking a pill that could kill you, you got to have the virus. I, I'm not going to buy anything else but because the man is nothing but a liar. And you all know that. I can look at you and say that and you all know this man is nothing but a liar. And if he's taking them chloroform pills, he's got to have coronavirus and he does not want to tell the American public the truth because he's been running around without a mask on like he's John Wayne or somebody the dude. Man, that John Wayne era is dead, Mr. Benedict Arnold. Donald J. Trump, the dude is dead, man. John Wayne been dead for years, man. All praises to Allah. Stay safe. Peace and love. Happy birthday to my little cousin Jack, wherever he may be. Subscribe, share, like, and I'm coming at you. I've been taking a few days down. I'm coming at you live and strong as usual. Peace and love. Stay safe and get out and vote. Peace and love. I'm out.